practice self-reflexology, you really just need some space to work and start with a little bit of oil or lotion just to help your hands glide across your feet as you're working. Making sure to get any of those dry spots moisturized. And we're going to start by just doing some spinal rotations at the spinal reflexes on the medial aspect of the foot. As you can see here, and then when you're ready, we'll start thumb walking and we're gonna thumb walk the spine. So you're just gonna inch your way up the bones on that inside big toe edge of your foot all the way up to the neck of the big toe about halfway up that neck. You'll repeat three times and you'll kind of wanna get each little edge of the bones. So you'll kind of work your way up the top edge, the middle edge, the bottom edge to access all of those nerve endings. If you find any bit of tenderness, you can pause and kind of rotate for a moment. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the jaw reflex, which is just above the nail of the big toe. You'll kind of inch your finger across. You can do your thumb walking. You can kind of slide the thumb across that area and then just kind of draw some thumb walking lines down the top of the toes either side of the tendon on the big toe and then on each of the others and then we'll do the plantar side of the toes i like to do about three rows on each toe just to make sure i am getting into all of the nooks and crannies so as you can see, I'm working my way up. Again, if you find any congestion, pause, give it a little more attention, and you'll work even into that little toe. Try to get those three rows in. And then you're just gonna flip the foot back over. We're gonna work on the lymphatics of the foot, just kind of guiding up through the kind of gaps in the tendons there up toward the ankle. Then you're gonna hook your pointer fingers around the front of the ankle, draw down under the ankle bones and draw some big circles. Just to massage the reflexes for the hips, the glutes, the reproductive reflexes. Do that several times. It tends to be a tender area, but it does often feel good. And then what we're gonna do for the plantar aspect of the foot is we're just going to thumb walk all the way down for the chest cavity, you could go down, you could go up, you could take an angle in your thumb walking. I'm just going straight across here. As for your digestive tract, the arch of the foot, you really wanna only work down or at a diagonal down. So here I'm just again doing those horizontal rows, but you don't wanna work your way up in the digestive tract. For the heel, you can just work in any direction you'd like. Just make sure you give each little part of the heel a little attention. And then just give your feet a little bit of love, a little pat. And just feel the effects of your self-reflexology. 